Hey, on this video, we're going to be looking at a solution where NAS has two LAN ports and one LAN port goes to your um, Windows or your laptop or whatever. And then on your Windows, you have another LAN port which goes into the router. Our router. So in this situation, your Snorgy, in this case, will not have any internet access because it's going to live on its own. So maybe you can have a little switch on the side where you can connect your Synology and your laptop and your other PC or something if you want several devices connected to your Synology. But um, that's the inquiry I was getting. They were asking, is it possible to connect your Synology to your PC and not via the browser? So it doesn't have any internet access. So on the PC, I can have internet NAS, direct connection, separate LAN. So I'll just show you because yes, it is possible and I'll show you how. So what you need to do, it's pretty simple actually. You go to Synology, you'll need to set the manual IP. So if your IP range is 192 something, what, 10, 0, 4, 28, whatever in my case, make sure you've got similar IP on your Synology. It's going to simplify things. So go to control panel, go to um, card settings. In this case, you can see that uh, there is no internet connection. I already find those that are already set things up and there is no internet. So go to control panel and go to uh, network, go to network interface. And in this case, you can see I got two LAN ports. So I set LAN one manually to 10.0.4.28. You uh, higher the IP address, uh, less likely you can have any conflicts in your network, so keep it high. Uh, like 99, 97, 77 at the end, something like that. Just keep safe. Gateway, your router IP, submit mask, same submit mask you got on your PC, 255, 255, probably very likely. So that's that's about it on the uh, NAS side. Uh, you can already, if you want to connect uh, a LAN cable from your NAS to your PC, if you don't have two, uh, two LAN ports on your PC, you can get an USB adapter where you can connect through USB and get your extra LAN port. So then what you do is um, you can go to LAN card settings on your Windows. Uh, in this case, I've got USB LAN, which I'm using to connect to Synology. Do right-click properties, RPV4 properties, and again, set the manual IP. Uh, so in this case, I chose 67, something is all higher up. Uh, same submit masks, um, gateway, you don't need to really configure it, but just for sake of it, I did. Uh, up to your IP address and mask is important. Click OK. I um, already did multiple. I already set this up. From this point, it's going to identify its settings, it's going to reestablish, put the settings in, and uh, you will be able to use internet um, from that point on. Um, yeah, if this was helpful, like it. Share it, whatever. <laughs> if you've got any questions, you can go to NAS Compares. Um, right inside, there's an inquiry form. Fill it up or send an email to info NAS Compares. Um, the question will be interesting. We're going to shoot a video like this so we can help you. We can help others as well. Cheerio.